Welcome back to Rose's Education, this is Ed. Today, we're going to be talking about farming. A ticker going with the FAMI. In this video, we're going to talk about the company's due diligence a little, technical analysis, and what we can anticipate in the next few days or so. So the company is a leading agricultural, e-commerce, and technology enterprise, which aims to build a global trading platform for agricultural products Farmy manages an industry chain of internet marketing for agricultural products with agricultural technology research and development. Family farm development and product processing, our products are sustainable, organic, and green agricultural products and healthy foods. Currently, it's trading around 36 cents. There has been some recent moves for their stock, and we're going to address that in the technical analysis and how it's going to trade forward. There is some recent SSC filings, for instance. The one on the 26th of October, and this one talks uh, a little bit about their uh, rural revitalization program and marketing match uh, making conference and them showcasing that at a major conference or their product at a major conference. So that wasn't really much of a big deal. And then another one was the North American sales expansion. So it's currently working on importing into the North into North America some of the products, including the dry shy take mushrooms, dried and slight shy take mushrooms. And the Canadian International Trading Company specializes in importing and distributing Asian foods products in the Greater Vancouver area, Calgary, and Winnipeg. That's one of the companies they're working with. So they mentioned our team is doing an excellent job at building brand momentum with large customers that have great international national reach to complement our strong footholds in domestic China. Another update that was back on the 18th, that's when they received, the, one of their subsidiaries received a BRC and HACCP certificate, considered to be one of the most important certificates by them. And they mention here that after three days of comprehensive, careful examinations and audit teams gave the high marks for company safety management control and production oversight, product traceability, product inspection capabilities and overall process. Given the stringent review of the process, many international buyers now rely on these certifications instead of individual customer audits. As a result, we place a high priority on compliance in all our daily businesses decisions across our entire operations. Another one that we do have here is relating towards FAMI institutional buyers. So for their institutional buyers, we see that Fidelity NASDAQ Composite Index Fund, we see that they added around 104,000 shares. Tamar Securities liquidated on the 19th. Wedbush Security added around 20,000 on the 8th of October. And Virgil Financials added around 202 on the 17th of September. When we're talking about insiders, there wasn't much update. In terms of the short interest ratio, it shows around 0.11 days to cover. Currently, there's around 10 million shares available for short selling or borrowed or to be borrowed. Uh, the short borrow fee rate is only at 6.78%, so it's very low. And more than half of all the trading volumes is going towards the short volume side. Now, another thing we do want to talk about is their fundamentals. But before doing so, if you'd like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button on the bottom right corner and leave vacations on. Also, don't forget to drop a like if you've actually enjoyed this video so far. And you can join our Discord totally free in the description below. Now, another thing is the fundamentals as we spoke earlier. Currently, the price over sales is around 2.97. So that's basically on par with what we've seen with the market valuations in general for the SP500. Price over book is incredibly small. This is based on the last quarter. It's 0.26. It's really considered highly undervalued. Now, let's move on towards technical analysis to discuss the movement a little bit further. In terms of technical analysis that we're seeing here, a lot of these moving averages are almost on the same horizontal level, really suggesting that there's not much going on other than a very prolonged accumulation point. In accumulation points, you can anticipate the stock to either drop significantly or push forward uh, upwards. Now, in terms of the ADX, this suggests, again, a very sloppy accumulation, nothing more of a trend or a strong trend that is. So it's kind of sitting at just that level in terms of William percent R, which is very similar to the relative strength index. It's currently sitting somewhere between overbought and oversold right now on neutral. 
closer to the overbought a little than oversold the macd is almost at zero it's on the positive side but really not much of a pulse momentum is also sitting at zero for a few days now in terms of stochastic fast and stochastic slow both are suggesting an accumulation we might get a pullback but we need to be very careful at least that's what we're seeing based on historical levels but at some times it did jump upwards and continue on with a strong movement so the stochastic fast and slow doesn't really tell you much other than watch where the next supports and resistance is because things are about to get interesting in terms of the bollinger bands and the moving average bands they're very much horizontal back very similar to what we've seen here so nothing to talk home about and in terms of Fibonacci retracements what we're seeing here is significant resistances at 73 cents 106 133 160 198 and 247 the support is sitting at 20 cents now if we were just to go ahead just from price line action we're able to see that there's a significant support level at 35 cents Below there around 30 cents, below there around 28 cents, going down to 24 and then 20 cents. The resistances though, we're seeing a few of them somewhere at, for instance, the first one at 39 cents, and then below there or above there, 43 cents, above there around 47 cents, and then above there around 53, and then above there 60 cents, and then going all the way up to 88 cents, going further to 94, and then 103 comes to the question to Ed, what do you think is going to happen here? So it's currently clear. You first have this cup and a handle, which is a very bullish sign that we can anticipate a further push. Currently, it went just a little bit upwards with a bull flag. So far, back to back bullish trends. Now we're bullish signals. Now volumes have dropped a little as we get to see here. So not much volume going on. It looks like an accumulation a little. And currently you might anticipate some further push based on news. But as long as you do break the 36 and try to get a temp towards that. In this region here, there's a lot of people that bought and just want to break even. So you got to allow them the time to sell out uh, on this position. But I do anticipate that this stock would possibly reach the 60 cents once more. And it's only a matter of time where they do have to meet compliance, whether by news to the $1 or by reverse split to the $1. Now, a reverse split wouldn't be good. A news one obviously would be good as the stock would soar around 200%. What do you think about this ticker? Make sure to answer down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and have a wonderful day. Now, if you're still here on this video, make sure to drop down below and join our Discord. We have a lot of different things going on, including, for instance, members that give us picks for free. It's not pump and dumps. We just things we think about, swings, etc. We also have really exciting bots. Uh, you can actually use those ones. For instance, we're just testing out this bot, for instance, that gives you Fibonacci resistance points, activities, etc. And we have a bunch of free things, totally free. We run on tips here, and you can ask me questions, suggest stocks, etc. It's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel free to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day